at 18 years old, you know, after high school, working 60 hours a week, you know, and that was really hard for me because, you know, most of these jobs are like nine to five. And at an early age, it was, you know, it was hard for me, you know, but I hope, you know, my examples will help, you know, to never give up on your dreams, you know, because, you know, everyone has dreams in life. But, you know, I just hope this will help you guys, you know, work harder and, you know, just be you and yourself, you know. And, you know, after listening to my speech, I hope y'all will understand, like, no matter the obstacles or challenges, um, you can over overcome things with hard work and faith. You know, there were many points in my job where I wanted to quit and just be in my comfort zone. Or no one tells me nothing, but soon I realized in order to be successful, I had to fight for my own dreams and achievements, you know. It was hard for me working at a young age, you know, because, you know, I had to get used to the, you know, waking up early, then the, like, you know, waking up early in general, you know, because then the average person, you know, it was challenging. It was challenging. You know, there was times I just wanted to sleep in because, you know, I'm just young, you know. I wanted to party, you know, do fun stuff. But, you know, the next day I got to wake up like around 4.30 or 5 a.m. just to get, you know, ready for work. And it was really stressful, you know, because I wouldn't be able to see my friends, you know, like every day. I'll be like, you know, I'm tired, man. Uh, I got to go to sleep and, you know, stuff like that. You know, and there was times where I didn't have enough energy to motivate myself because with all these long hours I had to work to you know wake up go to work and then you know come back home and sleep you know it was just the same thing every day and another thing is you know I was being bullied at at work just because you know I was young and people will see me as like an old one and they will like push me and that really like you know hurt my feelings you know and just thought to myself like why am I even here you know but I had to overcome it you know and I had to learn to stand for myself like no matter what you know only because I was young and that wasn't easy and you know I just kept fighting every single day learning new things in life you know and I had to learn new skills in the construction field so like I can have an idea how to do the work so people won't tell me, you know, hey, do this, do that. No, that's wrong, that's right. You know, because I was tired of just listening to people, you know, scream at me and tell me what to do, and that really bothered me a lot. And last last thing is, you know, I had to get out of my comfort zone. You know, those, those were one of my challenges in life that I struggled, you know, my work, you know, and my personal life, you know. And, you know, I was too shy to even talk to my coworkers and made me realize that I had to have some type of communication to grow and ask questions of how to operate, you know, like the machines and stuff like that, you know. So, you know, I needed some motivation, you can say. You know, and I knew for me to achieve in the real world, in the real world you must have some type of communication or else you are nothing in this life, you know. You got to stand for yourself. You got to... You know, just keep moving forward no matter what. And that made me realize who I really was. And I'm thankful for the, for that I took those big steps in life because now I feel like a different person. You know, taking challenges to grow or anywhere I go, at a job, you know, relationship, my dreams, you know, I know I can be able to accomplish it, you know. And overall, you know, I can say I'm very grateful and happy that the job that I took as a construction worker told me grow in many ways to be successful in life. I can say it was it was like my second home, you know. Even though there was times I wanted to quit and just be in my comfort zone, I found ways to overcome them and I do not regret my decision to be a construction field in the construction field. So I'm very grateful and I hope this helps you guys, you know, to just keep moving forward no matter what, because at the end of the day, you know, you gotta follow your own dreams in life. Thank you.